dear students welcome to your channel please like share and subscribe your own channel school studies school studies is pleased to announce the launch of our educational website patel section after years of hard work and dedication we are delighted to officially announce the launch our goal with this website is to provide our students with an easier way to learn the lesson and prepare for exams The new website is interactive and gives better access to NCERT solution, GSEB solution, Kids Zone, and general knowledge courses and quiz. We will be constantly updating our content with helpful information, articles, blogs, newsletters, new course announcements. We hope you find the new website with a fresh look, easy to assess information. For any questions, suggestion, feedback, or comments, please contact us today. Today we will see a video related to NCERT solution for class ten. Political science that is civics, chapter two, federalism. Let's solve textbook exercise. The first question is: Look at the following states on a blank outline political map of India: Manipur, Sikkim, Chhattisgarh, and Goa. So this is Sikkim, this is Manipur, this is Chhattisgarh, and this is Goa. Identify and check three federal countries other than India on a blank outline political map of world. So this is South Africa, this is Pakistan, and this is Australia. Next, point out one feature in the practice of federalism in India that is similar to, and one feature that is different from that of Belgium. Features in the practice of federalism in India that is similar to the Belgium. There is power sharing between union government and the state government. दोनों government जो है power share करते हैं union that is central government and the and state government. Features in the practice of federalism in India that is different from that of Belgium. So India has no community government in practice while Belgium has one. Next, what is the main difference between a federal form of government and a unitary one? explain with an example so federal form and unitary form there is a power a sharing of power between union and state government a power is centralized with a union government and there is no role of state government example india india is a federal country with a union government at the center and the state governments at the state level and panchayati raj at a local level for example sri lanka the national government has all the powers next fill in the blanks since the Un united state is a dash type of federal federation all the constitute states have equal powers and states are stronger so the since the united state is a coming together type of a feder federation all the constitute states have equal powers and states are strong vice versa the federal government but india is a holding together type of feder federation and some states have more power than others in india the central government has more powers next here are three re reactions to the language policy followed in india given an argument and example to support any of this positions so sangeeta the policy of accommodation has threatened the national unity arman the language based states have divided us by making everyone conscious of their language harish this policy has only helped to con uh, consolidate the dominance of english over all other languages so the policy of accommodation mentioned by sangeeta is a correct reaction to the language policy followed in india due to this policy india stands in unity with states having different languages had india not followed the policy of accommodation several states could have proposed separation from the country next the distinguishing feature of the federal government is the national government gives some power to the provisional government power is distributed among the legislature executive and judiciary elected officials exercise supreme power in the government governmental power is divided between different levels of government so governmental power is divided between different levels of government next examining the following pairs that give a, give the level of government in india and the powers of the government at that level 
to make laws on the subjects mentioned against each which of the following pairs is not correctly matched state government state list yes central government union list yes central and state government concurrent list yes local government residuary powers that is not correct next match list 1 and list 2 and select the correct answers given in quotes given below the list so union in union of india its prime minister state governor municipal corporation mayor and gram panchayat sarpanch next consider the following two statements in a federation the powers of federal and provisional governments are clearly de demarcated india is a federation because the powers of union and state governments are specified in the constitution and they have exclusive jurisdictions on their respective subjects sri lanka is a federation because the country is divided into provisions india is no lo longer a federation because some powers of states have been devolved it to the local government bodies which of the statements given above are correct so the correct is a and b only so this was chapter 2 of ncrd solution for class 10 civics i hope you like my video thanks for watching my video thank you please leave comment question or doubts in comment section if you have any or you can drop a mail to us you will find my email id at the end of this video You can also join us on Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, connect us on LinkedIn or tweet us on Twitter. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you.